mile high for this AFC North versus AFC West matchup between the Steelers and the Broncos. These two coaches, they've been in the news all week long. People have talked about their matchup. These two great minds, successful coaches going at it today. Yeah, and you know what? Everybody talks about the players all the time. We do not give enough credit to the coaches because it takes great coaching to give the players a chance to make the plays on the field that win the games. We see it so many times. These guys will be ready for any situation that comes up, and they have great experience to rely on. First down, offense readying for the snap. High formation and the handoff. Good job by the defensive line standing there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. This will be second down. The go shotgun here. The quarter. It's Bailey with the pick. Well, as a quarterback, I think the biggest thing is when you throw an interception early in the game, you just got to have faith in what you did all week in practice. Keep your confidence level up and come out here and get it done. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. They'll go ground. That brings the play to an end. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Dropping back three. He'll throw it over the middle. It's a touchdown. The Broncos for the point after. Add the extra point. The kick is good. And after that extra point, the Broncos are leading by seven. Broncos ready to put it down the field. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. Empty backfield for the quarterback. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Pass complete, but did not get them to first, so it's second down now. Steps out of bounds. Getting that first first down in the game, to me as a quarterback, was a lot like completing that first pass. It just feels good, uh, eases the pressure, puts you in rhythm, and you hope it keeps going from there. That long gain sets them up here on this play. They've got him down there. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Second down coming up. Quarterback dropping back, looking to get the feet planted. Always aware of the change. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer, but these guys nowadays, when you play zone, 
They know how to throw and catch and get it done. First down here after the completion. Running for his life. He's in the clear. The ball is out. He's brought to a halt. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit him so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. The offense pinned back in an awful position. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Number 18 throws into play. Second down. It's now second down. From the eye, they give it to the team back. They deck him in the backfield. Third down here. Offense Red trying Red. to pick up the first. Takes the stab from the shotgun. The quarterback throws the pass. The Broncos now move the chains. The margin of error against man-to-man -man defense is much smaller for a quarterback than it would be against zone defenses. That time the quarterback right on target. Good throw. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Nice catch. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. It's just not done enough, I think, in the league anymore. Everybody's so careful. But look what can happen. You can have the perfect throw, the perfect catch, and a big play. First down, following the long play. Now first and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. That catch will keep the drive alive. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. The defense... Trying to make a play here in the red zone. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. No gain on the play. Play number six coming up on this drive. He drops back to throw, inhales the pass. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, lot of different scenarios. You could do a play action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. Right there. Running back gets it on the handoff. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. One yard loss on the play. Chip shot here. The kick is good. Never take it for granted. When you're trying a field goal, a lot of things could go wrong. But good execution at time by the offense and a good kick. Three points. He will run this one back. Tackle down at the 22. Well, that time the kick returner just does an awful job. He doesn't read the blocks. 
His guys are knocking him down. He goes the wrong way, and that gives him bad field position. The Steelers getting set now for their next series. First down on the way from the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And it's knocked down. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. Second down now. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Roethlisberger going down the field. No separation at all. Incomplete. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. Five wides for the offense. Out of the shotgun formation. Reaches out and snatches it. Touchdown and drawing close. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. What a good job of the kickoff team. The ball's kicked high in the air, and they sprint all the way down there. The blockers can't get set up. Nice tackle. Now they got great field position for the defense. Tough starting field position here. First and 10. The handoff running behind the tackle. And that's a gain of 10. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? Second down coming up. They'll run it with him again. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there, and it's good for a few yards. It gets him another first down. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Looking to the right side and throwing. And the tackle is made at the 48-yard line. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. This play set up by the long gainer. First down and 10. Manning uncorks a long pass. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, second down. You'll get it in the weak eye. Has some space to work with. Denver Broncos in for the score. There is nothing like a long touchdown run. It takes so many elements to make it happen. Good blocking up front. A broken tackle by the running back. Blocking down the field by the receivers. They had it all. What a touchdown run. is ready to run up and kick this football. Bringing the play to an end.
no margin for error here with the offense. Here's the long throw by Roethlisberger. Knocked down. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. The quarterback throws to the right. He brings it in. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Now that was a terrific job getting that touchdown there. And what you've done, you've closed the gap. Keep chipping away at that lead. Make the opponent keep playing. See if he gets tight. If he gets tight, you got a better chance. <laughs> Not giving up another inch. Well, there's nothing that time the kick returner could do. Terrible blocking up front. Nobody gets their job done, and that's why they have bad field position. Broncos come onto the field now for this next series. Real tough starting spot here for the offense. The give to the running back. And gains about one. Number 21, the ball carrier on the play. One yard gain on the play. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. He's looking to the balls on the ground. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumble the football in a situation like that. They come to the line of scrimmage in an excellent starting point. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. <laughs> Playing press coverage to the outside. Second and 11. Going across the middle. Blows. Batted down. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position, and he knocks the football down. The offense looking down the field. The promised land so close by. He's scrambling now. Games 12. Nice job by the receiver catching the football there and takes the hit down below the waist. And nowadays, with the rules in the NFL, you got to learn to know defensive players are going to start hitting you lower. First down here. To the ground here. And he'll try it left. Really important they find a way to score in this drive here so close to the goal line. They've got to get back in this game. And if they find a way to score, even though they'll still be behind, it'll give them a lot of confidence. Offense lines up here. Just a quick drop back. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. Sean Sweezum readying his team for the kickoff. Good piece of tackle. 
Exactly. What a job by the kickoff team. The hustle. Everybody sprinting down the field, and they get rewarded. They give great field position to their defense. The Broncos getting ready now to start their drive. A miserable place to start this next drive. It's a throw all the way. Broncos get a first down. You know, when that football was coming towards him in the air, he knew if he caught it, he was going to take a big hit. Well, you know what? Good thing he caught it, because if he'd have dropped it, he still was going to take a big hit. Nice catch by the receiver. First down coming up. They hand it off to the running back. And he's knocked out of bounds. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. They face first down. Quarterback drops back. He has the grab. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. These defensive backs are ready for a battle. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. And he pulls it in. This offense, they are methodical, aren't they? They're kind of boring to watch. First down, first down, first down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. That ball is picked off. Good job by the defensive back. Reading the wide receiver, makes the break at the perfect time, and gets the interception. Nickel formation for the defense here. First and ten. Looking at every option. He's got a little bit of daylight here. That'll stop the play right there. Here's the first snap after the big play. Here's the handoff, running off tackle. Two-minute warning looms, and this may be the last play before it hits. The pass had to be perfect. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. Let's go. Hurry up, let's go. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Out of the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side, right where it had to be. These first downs add up. It's like body punches in a fight. You keep hitting guys to the body. They get tired. They give up. That's what's happening to this defense right now. Press coverage all the way. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Searching for a lane to the left here. Nothing like the draw play. Get those defensive ends rushing up the field to hit the quarterback. Boom. You hand the football off. Big running lanes. That's why it works so well. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second down and five. Back to the ground. Slashes to the left side. Well, it's another first down for the offense, and I'll tell you who the happiest guys are here in this stadium right now. It's the defensive players sitting over on the sideline, getting a drink of water, having a little oxygen, the fan blowing on them. It's nice this time of day to be a defender. And he wants to throw it across the middle. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. 
Uh, another incompletion. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. This will be the eighth play of this drive. From the shotgun, looking across the middle, in the promised land. Touchdown. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line, they're able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. bunch of receivers line up on one side for this play what a job by the quarterback finding a way to throw that football and pick hey, up hey, another hey, first hey, down hey, they are marching hey, down hey, the field hey, right now hey, plenty hey, of defensive hey, backs hey, out on the field for this one working that left side right where it had to be nowadays it's getting harder and harder to play this tight hand to make oh, coverage oh, 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 oh. because you're not even allowed to touch these these superstar wide receivers after the long game, let's see what they do here. They'll throw it over the middle. Gains 19. Nice job that time, getting that extra yard and getting that first down. This offense methodically just marching down the field. That's a timeout by the D. Here's the safety inching up for this play. Drop back, shotgun formation. Ball's picked off. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. It's first down as they head to the line. The quarterback throws the pass. Well, the best thing you can say on the offensive side that time is the quarterback got rid of the football. Terrible protection. Nowhere to throw it. Just throw it away. Let's go. Let's go. Second down here from the gun. Going across the middle. Perfectly thrown. That time out by the offense. Hard to play man-to-man -man coverage all the time in the NFL. That time we see the man-to-man -man coverage, the quarterback sees it. Nice throw. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That catch, good for a first down. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering there. Teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. And he puts it through for three. That does it for the first half. Broncos trail with this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Steelers lead by 14. Nice little recovery that time by the field goal holder. He gets it in position. This kicker, he is a machine right down the middle. In on the stop. The defense comes out on the dime. The formation here, shotgun. Trying to work the middle of the field. The ball's deflected incomplete. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find a 
open guy, and it results in an incompletion. That's second down coming up. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. No way that would be completed. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. The throw to the left. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First down here. Looking to go up top again on first down. Secures it with two hands. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Now first and ten. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. Now they'll try over again on second down. Five-step drop. The pass doesn't find a mark. Play number six coming up on this drive. These DBs will not back off. Ace, ace, ace. Third down and seven. Peyton Manning looking down the field. Knocked away incomplete. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job of the defensive back. are getting set for their next possession. What a difficult spot to be in from here. Looking to the right side and throwing. They pounce on him there. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. That reception gave them the first down. Takes it from the eye. Going to be a tackle for a loss. They're going to the hurry. Back to the line now. And here we have second down. Look at that. The defensive line, everybody's shifting to the right. Throwing now to his left. And the tackle is made at the 41. That's a good job by the quarterback recognizing it's man-to-man -man defense. And when you see that, just watch the receiver lead him to the open space. Nice completion. Looks like they're in press coverage here. This has got to be a blitz. Look how everybody's crowding the line of scrimmage. Roethlisberger. Go. That's an interception. The tackle was made. 
That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. They come to the line, and it's first down. They'll go shotgun here. That ball was going the other way. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Offense now in the red zone. Richard Mendenhall gets the carry, and that's a gain of nine. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Nine yard gain on the play. That leads us to second down. Quick drop back. Wide open for the catch. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Playing press coverage to the outside. First down. Offense readying for the snap. Staying with the passing game on first down. Incomplete. Second down. This is a five-step drop back. The quarterback throws to the right. Touchdown. Steelers put six on the board. All you need is a small window down near the goal line when you're hooking up with the tight end. At that time, the window was small. The tight end did an excellent job of keeping the defender on his back, and he gets the touchdown. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. Wide open alley. Takes off for the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown. You always tell the kick returner, when he's in the end zone, don't take it out. This time he does. Look at the block. Look at the speed and the moves, and takes it all the way for over a 100-yard touchdown. He's got a chance to return this one. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. They bring in an extra defensive back. That's a pass all the way. The Steelers now move the chains. What a job by the quarterback, finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. They've got a first down now after that catch. Gets away from the heat. They bring him to the turf. Nickel formation here for the defense. There's a whole lot of shifting to the left by that defensive front. They feed the running back, and they bring him down at the 44-yard line. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. These defensive backs are ready for a battle. Second down and two. They hand it off to him again.
It'll be third down. Three-step drop. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Going to take it the distance. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. Sean Sweezum readying his team for the kickoff. He's brought down. The Broncos get ready to start their drive. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. First and ten. Safety valve time. And it's Ryan Clark who is able to tackle. We'll go no huddle. Great job by the receiver that time holding on to the football after the catch. What a hit by the defense in this league. You better be able to catch it and take the big hit. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Looks to his left. No room to complete that one. Pass incomplete. Number 87. The intended target on the play. Third down. Third down. It's handed to the running back. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Good job of knowing the situation on the offensive side. Third and short. Don't look for a big run. Just get enough to get a first down and get those chains moving. First down and ten. And he wants to throw it across the middle. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose picks up the first down and now they have a chance to open things up first down following the long play he'll fire it out to the left Broncos get a first down he dives in for the score touchdown when you're behind in the football game drive down and score they did that now the next time when they get back out there they got to do it again show some patience and drive it down the field the Steelers set to return the kick. And he begins his return. Well, that time the kick return just does an awful job. He doesn't read the blocks. His guys are knocking him down. He goes the wrong way, and that gives him bad field position. Steelers ready to take over the football. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. And the quarterback is taken down. Outside linebackers who can get to the quarterback, they are a rare breed in the NFL because it takes talent, size, speed, everything to do it as a linebacker. And we saw it that time on display. 15 minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. After that sack, it's now second down and 17. Three-step drop. Great coverage there on that pass attempt. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Third down following the incompletion. Play action fake and drop. It's Bailey with the pick. He stacked up at that point. I, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. First down on the way. 
There's a big line shift here by the defense before the snap. Looking across the middle with two hands, he has it. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. This play set up by the long gainer. Hand off to the back. Penalty flags on the field. A tackle behind the line. The defense accepts the penalty. They'll take that gift from the defense and line up now with a new set of downs. The running back goes in motion. The quarterback has his team's attention here. Steps back to throw. Touchdown. This game is tight. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. Broncos ready to put it down the field. They're setting up the return. <laughs> Tackles made. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. He'll throw it over the middle. Brought down at the 29. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. This will be second down. Here's the long throw by Roethlisberger. Clutch catch. For so many years, we had all these rinky deep deep and dunk quarterbacks. Now we got guys in there throwing it deep down the field. What a nice catch. What a really good deep throw. Press coverage all the way. Let's see how they back up the big play here. And he's brought to the ground. Here, a split backfield. Second down and 10. Eyeing that left side. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Scans the field, brings it into his body. Gains 19. Well, when you get down here this close, you've got to be tough, big, and strong to get in the end zone. That time, he falls a couple inches short. The defense loading up on the line. Get it. He is in for the touchdown. It's like money. How much do you need? The answer is more. And that's what you do when you're trying to get points in the NFL. Just get more. Good job by the offense. They pad the lead with that touchdown. Time's becoming a factor in this one as the Steelers lead by 14. Offense lines up here. First and ten. The quarterback throws the pass. Well, the protection was bad. The quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. The 
quarterbacks calling something out, failing to complete that one. So second down here. Challenging the defenders to the right side. They bring him down at the 41-yard line. Time for the hurry-up offense. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. First down here, takes the stab from the shotgun. The defense did not give up an inch. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. They're setting up screen. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. From the gun, trying to work that left side, reaches out and grabs it. Well, this man-to-man -man coverage, bad job by the defense. The defensive back so slow, no chance of keeping up with the wide receiver. First down coming up. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Out of the way. Good job of getting open deep down the field. The quarterback cannot make the throw. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving them hand signals. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Halfback sent in motion. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Dropping back to throw. That reception picks up the first down. Another first down by the offense, and the happiest guys on the field or off the field right now is the defense. They are getting rested up on the sidelines. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Broncos now move the chain. Good job of the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. He'll go left. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Good job by the offensive coordinator. Calling those plays leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can the defense come out and help them out? The Broncos for the point after. And the extra point is good. Time's becoming a factor in this one as the Steelers are leading by seven. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. They're setting up return. Spins away from contact.
the Steelers come onto the field for their next series. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop and give the ball back to the offense. And they tackle them there at the 34. The defensive captain looks over and signals an immediate timeout. as the clock is winding down the offense would like to just run it out looking to scramble and he's forced to the ground when you take a blindside hit like that oh my gosh do they hurt and you get up you make sure you're okay then you try to find out who's responsible for you getting you hit like that these DBs will not back off Blitz is in the air Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Hauls it in for the first down. That brings the play to an end. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Here's the first snap after the big play. Give. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Going across the middle, and he is tackled at the 30-yard line. Good job by the offense, kid. Another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field that defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. They face first down. They go counter. He'll look for running room on the left. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter. You still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. Left, left, left. Play number six coming up on this drive. Gets it again here. They've got him down there. It's about managing the football game. That's why they ran the football right there. Not a big game, but sometimes you have to be predictable. You have the lead. You're trying to get rid of the clock. you got to run it. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Seven, right back to him one more time. Hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. The defense was ready, nowhere to go. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Scanning the field, trying to work the middle of the field. Interception! Breaks free, has some space to work with. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Bump coverage here. Corners backing up. Out of the shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. Ball spotted away. 
That's what you have to do as a defensive back. You got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. Bells, bells. One more play, bells, and it's bells, in bells. the books. Blue 20. Blue second bells. and 10. Manning uncorks a long pass. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays, but we've come to an end, and what a game it was. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade. G-Series Recover, giving you the protein you need to rebuild the muscles. Well, it's a big performance in front of a primetime audience and a sweet victory in the end. Of course, the players are not thinking about the fact that, hey, a lot of people are watching us here today in this game. But when you win, and then you sit back and think everybody was watching us and you played well, boy, that is some great experience. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.